an example, I did a story some years ago called Life and Death in an Irish Town that I think is an example of that, of looking at a very a place called Strabane and right on the border between <clears throat> in Northern Ireland, but right on the border with the Republic, that uh, was a, for a period was the most blasted town in that unhappy conflict. And I think that was very much an, an observed kind of piece. Uh, sometimes these things have an essay quality about them that I like to do. I mean, one can get one's fill of it, too, because it's very, very demanding. I mean, it's a lot easier to put together a story with a lot of interviews, <laughs> believe me. Um, so I think that's an example um, of, of that kind of story. Uh, there are some more, uh, what I call, souffles. Uh, I did a trip on the Orient Express. There was. I don't think it any any interviews. It was just kind of. Traveler's Tale. Um, I went and did a piece in the Maldives Islands. Also, no, again, it was an essay. The only reason I did the piece was we were out there working on another story, out in India working on a story. And it seemed a long way to go for one piece, so scraping around looking for something else to do while we were out there. <clears throat> and actually, it was my, my wife. Uh, caught the story in the Wall Street Journal, a paper neither of us ever read, except we were getting it because it was during the newspaper strike in New York. And she spotted this quirky little story about this quirky little place in the Indian Ocean. So, I mean, those are a couple of examples of, you know, I do a couple of those a year, one way or another. And the art stories I've done, which is, uh, happens to be a private passion and become the unofficial art critic <laughs> 60 minutes. And that's, those are fun to do.